The NBA's new play-in format has been the subject of much discussion over the past few months. Draymond Green scoffed at it. Luka Doncic questioned how fair it is. Mark Cuban, who voted for the play-in as a member of the Board of Governors, called it an enormous mistake. And then there was LeBron, whose take was that, quote, whoever came up with that stuff needs to be fired. Hey, change, as we know, can be hard. And I'm going to say it's probably not a coincidence. All those comments came right when the Warriors and Mavericks and Lakers were all falling into the play-in range of the standings themselves. Still, there was one thing that Cuban said to our Tim McMahon that really stuck with me. Cuban complained that, quote, rather than being able to rest players if the standings become clearer, teams have to approach every game as a playoff game to either get into or stay into the top six. Yes, Mark, they do. And as we've seen over the past couple days, that is the feature, not the bug. Teams like the Wizards, who in the old format would have been tanking by now, are instead scrapping, meaning we're getting fireworks nightly from Russell Westbrook and when he's healthy, Bradley Beal. Meanwhile, teams who in the past would have been content to just amble around the bottom half of the bracket are now desperate to get out of those seven or eight spots. Take the Heat, who after sitting at seven just six days ago, have gone on such a tear, they're now at the five seed. And that in turn has pushed the Hawks and Knicks, who are in a tiebreaker with them, down to the play-in border, which meant last night we got a bruiser of a game between the Knicks and Lakers. Now, to Mark Cuban's point, in the past, this could easily have been part of the NBA's end of regular season restorama festival that they like to hold. But instead, it was an all-out war, with both teams defending so hard that honestly, when I flipped to this game last night, the score felt so 90s throwback, I had to check it against the clock twice. <laughs> Julius Randle was showing out against the team that let him walk three years ago. Then in overtime, we got Taylor Horton Tucker coughing up the ball twice, mm, only to then hit the go-ahead three-pointer with 21 seconds on the clock. Oh, and did you notice Anthony Davis taunting Spike Lee? Oh, I'm so sorry, good sir. I can't hear you over the sweet sound of victory. <laughs> AD tweaked his groin in this game. More on that later. But the win helped keep alive LA's hopes of making it out of the play-in, which is important since if they don't, they will likely have to face off against the Warriors just to get into the main draw. And the Warriors are a problem right now. Two nights ago, they knocked off an undermanned but still top-seeded Utah squad. Then last night, it was a nail-biting win against Phoenix. Steph had an uncharacteristically bad shooting night, going just one for 11 from three. Although, I'm not sure how you're supposed to even get a shot off when this is how the other team is defending you. I mean, there are four guys there on him still. The Warriors got it done looking so scrappy. They brought comparisons to Golden State's 2007, we believe, team. A notion, a notion that Draymond then immediately shot down. You know, no disrespect to them at all, because uh, what they did was incredible. Uh, but no, we're not no We Believe 2.0. Got back it on. on our team. Yeah, the Warriors have bleeping Steph Curry, which last night aside is what makes them so dangerous in this new format that has transformed the final leg of the regular season. So should the guy in the league office who championed the play-in tournament really be fired? As far as I'm concerned, he deserves a raise. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.